Hey there everybody, my name is Joyce Montiwahika. Welcome back to the second hour of the show. This is Full Circle with Joyce. And here's what we have in store for you this hour. We're going to be touching on the world and pictures later on. And uh, before that though, we'll be looking at relationships. Um, and my guest is here in studio. Today we want to discuss things no one tells you about love and relationships. Should make for a very interesting conversation. Uh, but before we dive into that, let's take a look at our quote for the day. Um, it is by Karma Vos and it says, create what sets your heart on fire and it will illuminate the path ahead. Create what sets your heart on fire and it will illuminate the path ahead. That there is our quote for the day. And uh, remember that triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. You can send in your feedback and your comments there. Uh, let me know what some of your experiences are as well as far as love and relationships. And maybe some of the biggest things that you've learned that nobody told you about. Uh, but very quickly, an, an SMS here from Emmanuel who says, Good morning, Joyce. The show is always on point and the suits are on fire. I love the class and I just feel like making deals in them. I like that. Yeah, inspire some confidence confidence in yourself with how you dress absolutely all right well uh here we have with us benjamin zulu how are you i'm fine idiot. very well karibu tena to Asante, i'm excited about the topic good good that usually means i'm gonna have a hard time like <laughs> keeping him in control <laughs> because we are debunking <laughs> misconceptions right and we are announcing what nobody else is announcing yeah okay Okay. And, and I can't because p people think love is about love a relationship is about uh, that feeling, that excitement. It's uh -huh. part of it, but it's only the icing. So we definitely do tend to build a lot of castles in the air and That's have right. all of these dreams and aspirations about love. And sometimes even the expectations that we put forth in our relationships are, to be frank, very unrealistic because this is another human being at the end of the day. Um, and so uh i think part of the trouble is that those miss i uh, miss ideas or wrong ideas and uh wrong expectations begin so far even before we've even entered a relationship mm -hmm. and kind of just prevails through dating through engagement then you get married and there's no exit and you're like a lot <laughs> what has happened here so maybe we can begin by just kind of talking about the people that we are dating and that we marry you know, we put them on such a high pedestal, mm -hmm. like they can do no wrong. They're the most perfect people in the world. And they may aspire to be, but that's just not the truth. Uh, and I'm happy you hint at it because I shall tell uh, there's a quote that says, one of the hardest things you'll ever do is to learn to expect less from the person you love the most. Hmm. Because our teenage, our adolescent, our childhood, uh, the, the, we were oriented to expect so much from people because you love them so much. So, I want to announce to us that here that love is important, but love is not enough. It's not enough to marry because you're in love. Mm. It may sound counterintuitive. Mm. A girl was called me this morning, I'm 25, I'm married, have a child. We have this problem. Okay, okay. So, you're 25, <laughs> you're married, you have a child. Yeah, <laughs> Did you date at the wrong 23? Yes. Okay, let's go on. What happened? I graduated, got married immediately. Or uh, my hubby is not as learned as me, so from Foliva. And I want to announce it. So why did you do that? Because I loved him. Love is not enough, Joyce. Well, you need compatibility. You need to project into the future. Now, okay. and, and I told her, you don't need to tell me now. I can already guess what is going on. Hmm. One, the pe him and his people always see that you're looking down on their son. Even when you're not doing it. Mm. Everything you do has a, has a connotation because you're learning. Because you have money. Because So you have to always be on the defensive. Not to attempt anything new. Not to launch a project. Not to don't challenge him. Don't correct him. Don't, 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 don't do anything. Because everything will be interpreted because of his superiority. Mm. Now you are in love. So where is the love? <laughs> Marriage is supposed to be permanent. Mm -hmm. You want to think as a decision you're making once and for life. Let me announce to uh, graduates, don't jump into marriage right after graduation. You make blunders that you live with mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. So we're saying love is not enough. There are other things that are important. Benjamin, would you say that that applies even when you're marrying someone of your age group? Because I know that there are people who, so both of them maybe are 25 or both <laughs> of them are young. Thank you. <laughs> so because I think mo many of us perceive this conversation as I'm 25, but he's a little older. Are you saying that even when you're the same age group, just kind of put the brakes First on First of it. all, don't marry a guy who's 25. Don't even try it. Please don't I tried, try. guys. <laughs> 
most oh, guys, man. we have at less than 10% guys who will have matured, stabilized to focus on one, man, one woman at 27. So few. The men go through an exploration phase between 24 to 30. We have a club, they experiment women, check every scar, check every female thing. They're restless, they're clubbing, they're driving around. So there are girls who come there. You know, we started dating, he's 26, I'm 24. Now he's, he's flirting on, with women right under my nose. I'm saying, you are the one who came into his exploration right under his nose. You are the one who's lost. <laughs> <laughs> so men have an exploration well, we have Yes, you've, you've you don't shot his Men who are the clubbing type go clubbing. The church type go preaching, crusade, they're fiery, they're <laughs> they, 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 they wear suits, they're preaching, they're fire. So we have men, we have the club type and the church type. All of them have an exploration period. The church type is very unrefined and feel just rush. They, they, they talk, they repent or go to hell. Sister, remove that skirt or you go to hell. When you hear a brother talking like that, that's a group of broken okay, They're so insensitive, they just bang the Bible, repent. <laughs> <laughs> so men have a face that women don't go through. There's a face in okay. many women. We're not saying all of them. There's a few. Those who have been consciously growing and being mentored. But even me, I married past that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm not saying you cannot. But I, some Mzungu we were talking, I told you. You see the divorce rates in your country? Out of there. Because you let kids pick mates. Mm -hmm. As if they know what they're doing. <laughs> and then later, so we are divorced. Why are you divorcing? Because I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. And it's so, it's so, I have to say that's so true because for me, so I, I lived abroad and I lived with Americans and, you know, right. foreigners for a long time. Mm -hmm. And my high school mates, I mean, as soon as we'd finish high school, they would get married. And I'd be there stressed out like, ah, what is happening? <laughs> but sad to say, a lot of them are actually divorced by exactly. this point. Yeah, by and 23. The, in, in the West, they talk about that before the marriage is as if it's normal. Mm. <laughs> because the first ones are mistakes. People are rushing to it. Your biology, your brain is developing a, with its own schedule. You won't rush it because now you have money. One girl asked me, what if now I already have a job, have money? I said, now that's the stupidity of 23 year old. You think your brain knows about money? <laughs> <laughs> so take your time. So we are saying here, love uh, is not enough. You okay. must go look further ahead. Another thing that um, happens inside marriage that even if you married right, you must factor it. You married the right time and you're prepared and you came back together. That relationship can die, can die for lack of energy. But see, you're compatible. Yes. And then you, there's love and you've chosen. Me, I say love is a choice, not Exa a feeling. Exactly. Yeah. You've chosen to love and then you're compatible. The only couple that lasts 20, 30, 40 years to lifetime is a couple that is growing. If growth is not at the center of your union, you won't last. Eh? Ebu, let's take a break and then come back for, <laughs> to continue this discussion here. I want to understand what you mean by energy. This energy. Is it maybe what a chukwe break, Kwanza? We'll be back after this guys. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. And uh, Mase, I'm here with Benjamin Zulu. And even some SMSs I'm just afraid to read because I can already foresee his reaction. But let me just entertain myself. <laughs> My name is Winnie. I have a bae who is in Nairobi. People say he's cheating on me. And now I'm confused. I'm 18 and he's 24. Please help me. <laughs> Go back to the kitchen, land Kukuji. Okay. Stop talking about boys when you're 18, sweetie. Do you have a life to live? <laughs> okay, sweetie. Do you have a career to build? <laughs> it's true. Please, please, forget about bae. Don't use that word again. Mm. <laughs> For the next six years, be on fasting. <laughs> <laughs> Go grow up. <laughs> Guys, you can keep your questions coming into triple one, triple four, triple one. That's the SMS line, and I'm sure we'll be happy to uh, touch on those. But let's get back into now talking about things no one tells you about love and relationships. And um, uh, so we've already mentioned that you know the person that you date or marry, they're not on a pedal store, okay? Um, and that we also need to be compatible in addition to love but you were touching on um that there needs to be an energy that keeps your relationship growing please uh, briefly explain what you mean by that we have all heard that it's all about love as long as you love each other hey, it will be okay but no sooner do couples marry one two they come to me how can we revive the fire <laughs> the fire is dead 
No, no, can, I don't hear that. There's no that. The butterflies, I don't feel them anymore. <laughs> you just say, anybody on their phone, you just say, just talk no more. So your day was good, yes. Supper, yeah, it's there. <laughs> the fire will die if you just come together, and that's all. Yeah. Ask the shushus and grandpas who spent, who have been 40 years into marriage. You hear one cutting theme. I researched. You hear one theme. We always had a project to work on. We always had a challenge to face. We always mm. had this. Mm. Actually, I know one couple told me, we are done with that, that, but we are trying to initiate another project. We learned, we communicate better, we are closer when we are working on something. Mm. Energy, I mean something you are stretching towards. Companionship only means something if it's a journey. If mm. I ask you to keep me company and we sit there, the adventure goes away. What are we yeah. talking about? And you so, know, this is, this is such a good point, Benjamin, because... That this is to me what makes that vow that if you choose to make that vow for better for worse that's what gives your relationship life because so many of us like as soon as the problems hit we run away and yet that is what overcoming that challenge is really what pushes you for the next 10 years for the next 15 years and so be it working on a on a project, building a house, you know, earning, buying some property, or even overcoming and surmounting you know, challenges. In super war, important. in war, soldiers who fought in similar battalions bonded for life. Mm -hmm. and, and we in neuroscience, in neuroscience, we say neurons that fire together wire together. People may think it is the dinners that connect them, but I tell mm -hmm. them it's surprising. It's the challenges you fought together. Right. It's the enemies you, it's the money you to save. It's something, it's project you to acquire. It's something, actually that's how you develop an in language, in jokes, memories. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it's so pleasant you're with your partner in a meeting and people say something and you look at each other because it, it clicks with something. You guys can remember both of you mm -hmm. and you're telling each other, we'll pick up from there <laughs> what they're saying. Yeah. The adventure in relationship comes from motion. I say marriage is like a bicycle. It's only stable when it's moving. Mm. So those who love each other, they come together like this, then one of them is progressive. That's usually the most important, the most devastating part. Yeah. One of them is more progressive. The other one is a settler. This is achiever, is on the move. The other one is avoiding all risk and trying to maintain so status quo. Is there a way though to know that before you get into yes. the marriage that yes. you address it? Exactly. Start by asking where were you five years ago? <laughs> but what are they don't like that question or they get threatened the by it? The fact that they get threatened by it already gives you the answer. But you're saying five years ago, not yes. necessarily where are you going. Start because where they are going, anybody can say anything. It's yeah. theoretical. We can prove it. Okay. Check what they have done. You want somebody who's excited, then ask them where do you see yourself. I mean, you didn't need, Joyce, you don't need to ask it. If we converse over everything, my goals will come out in the conversation. That's right. Sometimes you don't need to, and I, and I told ladies to be careful with direct <clears throat> questions because they can be answered like an exam, structured. Mm. <laughs> you need to be conversational, not interrogative. So one lady, I, I explained that, she said, when I ask this guy where he wants to see himself, he said, we'll figure out when you come there, there's no pressure, no pressure. Uh, be very careful with people say no pressure. <laughs> that way, I don't try to dictate life, you know, you never know what comes tomorrow, you know. <laughs> it's better to go with the flow and just, just Wow, you just even mastered the language. Yeah, you know, the, the, I know the energy they say. <laughs> You don't need to complicate life, you know. You never know what Corona will see. Yeah. You know, I live in the present. You know. Yeah. And, and they say, yeah, yeah, well, 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 of course I'm working. I'm, yeah, yeah. So they mention the bare <laughs> minimum. <laughs> and oh, so lady. once you notice you're dealing with a settler, there's a lady who quarrels the husband whenever he buys a packet of uh, tissues. Mm. She wants him to buy only one piece. If he comes with a packet of 12 of, of them, uh, it's 12 rolls, she has a problem with that. So I said, this guy is an achiever who married a settler. Mm. Sometimes it's the lady who is petty, who is afraid, mm. who is held back by fear. Sometimes, Joyce, you don't just need to economize on money. There's something about you, the level of your faith, the level of where you are going, your image, the momentum in your life. In fact, there are people who did not start with small cars like from Vich to Paso, climbing slowly. Mm. There's some people who outgrew them before they bought the first one. <laughs> so mm. they bought a high. That does not mean they're extravagant, mm. but you'll fight over that if you marry a settler. Wow. Hey. <clears throat> okay. I want us to move on to another one and uh this this is one i love because this is something that i personally preach all the time which is relationships are not meant to complete you you need to be a whole person by the time you're coming into a relationship when you're a child you are dependent on your parents 
when you are a teenager you seek to be independent from everyone mm. when you mature you become interdependent mm. meaning you are strong enough on your own mm. and you are better with another yeah. you can do on your own but if you find another like you it will be a better combination you mm. bring the mood to, to the relationship that you had outside the relationship you enhance each other exactly if you are miserable outside you'll be miserable inside <laughs> if you are happy outside you'll be happy inside if love is shared it's not given don't come to solicit it from me if you don't feel complete and worthy i won't give you that in fact loving a person has a low self-esteem is like pouring water into a, a broken can keeps leaking mm. keeps leaking you can never feel it enough there's a lady told me i feel so insecure when i date a guy uh, i think he's cheating on me I, I need constant reassurance which chases them away and i told her it's because you are leaking <laughs> yourself mm. you're not confident you don't think you are enough for him you think he must uh, supplement you or you were cheated on before and yeah. now you have not healed from that <laughs> so it's it's to say you do not come to a relationship feeling insufficient yeah 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 you do not come feeling insufficient mm -hmm. you must know i'm a man enough i'm a woman enough i'll trust you mm -hmm. to find me enough in case something changes i won't collapse i'll just go go on I can always find another person wow romance requires a light touch <clears throat> don't possess and impress no don't, 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 don't do that <laughs> romance is that is a dance yeah it's not possession. Plus, it's exhausting on your partner if you're constantly there like, I need you to assure me. I need you to, to, to make sure that I feel it's exhausting on the person because they spend all of their energy just trying to make you and remind you that you're worthy and rather than actually building and doing the things that you're saying as far as moving forward. So all the energy is actually wasted on just kind of getting the building blocks in place all the time because you build them they're blocked down build can, them can you know another down. misconception that when we are married joyce let's tell them from an insider view we are not always talking lovey-dovey that's right <laughs> that's not what we are chatting about oh i missed you i was thinking about can you do that every day for that eight days <laughs> how long can you do that if we are living <laughs> together surely that's why i enjoy projects because we discuss what we are doing and i congratulate you that was good i think we did it let's do what what are we aiming at let's believe it let's talk well this is strategy when you are discussing what we are doing next you are always together mm -hmm. It's very important to always have some, whether small or big, have something to celebrate when you finally do it. If it fails, you analyze it, hey, you thought we got it wrong, but we have learned. Let's move on. Let's dream again. Let's try. What about that? What about this? Yeah, we start with it. What about this? Most of our conversations concern progress. Mm -hmm. But if it's all about, you know, when girls are in the university, it's all about uh, romance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Romantic. Uh, did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you too. Money for the salon. You know, <laughs> and then the nails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, how long can you do that? Yeah. How long can you do that? It's, it's place, exhausting. Uh, I'd be exhausted. There's a place, yes, for that. But it's supposed to be like kachumba. It's supposed to be a nice thing. It's not the bulk of the union. The bulk of the union is when do you think you should get a baby? What should you name the baby? Okay, what about this? Which schools do you understand? How much are you doing right. saving? Which project? How, when do we? Okay, well, how are we doing? What about that? How was your day? Okay, first stress. Oh, it went that way. Don't worry. I comfort right. you over your day. You come, <laughs> we celebrate highs. We comfort each other over the lows. Mm. It's life we are doing. Yeah, it's not always rosy. Sometimes it's it's like I I, I call it stumbling through life with a lover, with a friend. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the journey of life that is not clear, and we are holding yeah. each other, stumbling together as we go. Yeah, and let me jump in and say that even as we talk about the purpose of a relationship is not for the person to complete you, it also then means that it's not always going to be all about you. Exactly. So you can't always be like. Atta, you don't do this or, you know, it's, it's not always about the, the person doing things for you. The same way that they're not going to complete you, it's an unfair expectation that now they should just spend their day and night, you know, bowing to your whims. You know, and, and sometimes it's, it, only those who are children at life expect to be the center of the show every day. Those who are children at life. We all know that when you get married and babies are there, babies are more delicate. They can't survive on their own. So a lot of attention will go there. A lot of attention will go here. Lot, but that doesn't mean we have forgotten each other. This is our joint project. Mm. We are together in it. So what you're saying is, if you come to a relationship and there's a sense of you that wants to be affirmed every day, you'll exhaust your lover. Mm. You'll exhaust them. They will realize you are insatiable. And, and, and just we need to tell people to remember those small things that make you happy. Those comical strips. You, I mean, those, those comedy things, clips you can watch and you enjoy. Those things you can see. You get yourself some flowers, smell flowers. Those small things. You, they bring. Friendship. Thank you. Conversations with friends. Those things you can do and they bring and they have nothing to do with your, with your lover. They are good. They are very important. Mm -hmm. Don't say, for the last three years, you have not called me. I've just been down here. Don't you have another life? <laughs> And I ask men not to keep their women at home. She will become unbearable, impossible to manage.
Aye. All her attention is on you. You did not. Call, you called ten twelve yesterday. You called ten o nine. <laughs> she will keep a record of every small scene. <laughs> keep her busy, man. She has a lot of energy. Women have twenty five thousand words to speak in a day. Men have fifteen thousand. If you are the one to be poured on twenty five thousand in ten days, you'll be dealing that much. <laughs> and sometimes you come home, man. We already energy is gone. <laughs> you don't have time to listen attentively. You're not listening. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> We, we don't have time for that ah, attentive you go away. No, no, no. <laughs> Joyce, I can't, I can't absorb all that. So I enjoy when she can go reduce the number, uh, distribute them among friends, among friends. I meet 3,000. I can manage 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep, don't lock your woman. You'll be hurting yourself. Let her have a life. There's a very interesting question that's come through on our SMS line there. Triple one, triple four, triple one. Can someone learn to love while in marriage? I'm dating a man who I barely, lo I, I barely love and I'm not attracted to in any way. <laughs> Why are you dating him then? I anyway, I'm dating a man who I barely love and not attracted to in any way. He works in another country. We frequently talk, but the usual. How was your day? What's for supper? I feel there's no chemistry or compatibility between us. The last time he came, we did introductions on both sides. His parents came to our home. I can't just find a way of loving him, though he loves me, and I don't want to go into marriage with a man I don't love. Okay, unless you're being forced, I, I really don't understand why you would be dating That's someone. That's how pre revives talk. That thing started. If she is below 25, I tell her you're just doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. If you are over 25, you're desperate. Or you wanted mm. the packs he brings the money or the image he brings to you. You know he is not giving you what you want. Ooh. There's no emotion on it being mm -hmm. met. Mm -hmm. You wanted that man who's having that bribe to buy you big cars. Better to get a person to build life with. Don't just go for a person who's already built. Again, if a person loves you all the world and you don't feel them, this pack won't be there. Where? It will be duty. It will be work. And you know, this is a very important announcement to make. And we need to say this. Because indeed, there are people out there who... Um, you have allowed yourself to get to a place where you, you don't have your own stand. And so you're rushing into things. And what you've said is, is very powerful, that you're chasing the perks of mm -hmm. things. Do not then come and start telling everybody else that marriage does not work. Exactly. Please do us a favor and just... Say that, girl. Because it is your decision. It exactly. is your relationship that you've chosen to conduct in that way. Exactly. Because it's very unfair to go around saying, oh, marriages don't work. All men are like this. All women are like this. And really, half of it is really a product of our own choices, exactly. consequences, and circumstances. Don't marry where there is no love. Take your time. Being single is not a disease. You can That's build right. yourself. You can build yourself. And there are many who are... Why didn't you go on with the introductions? What was your yeah, that, That's kind of scary. I mean, the fact that you've even done the introductions, uh, that's kind of taking it way far, um, especially if it's someone that you don't love. I'd be really curious to hear why you... I know the blunder that she's making. She has been told, don't worry, the love usually develops. The love will so develop. So does it? No. If there's no click, it won't be there. Anyway, if you're saying even the love that brings you in is not enough to sustain you, exactly, it's not then the first requirement to, of to rely love. on love to, to, to grow in and the And the relationship. first requirement of love is the chemistry. Yeah. There are men who can pursue a woman. You see, Joyce, women have the ability to warm up to a man. If she was not feeling him and he proves himself, he proves himself to be a good man, then she can warm up. That should happen during dating, not inside marriage. So let him pursue you. You can warm up and realize actually he's a lovely guy. Don't move into official things before you confirm that you love him. Wow. <sighs> okay. Someone here says, hey Joyce, how about men who've been experimenting since 17 to 22 years of age? And they say they've had enough and are now ready to settle. Does that mean they'll cheat? <laughs> Wake up, Benjamin. <laughs> so, I mean... That's they, not a man, that's a boy. Can you correct your English, please? But they're admitting that they're, they're tired. They've, they've out, out experienced. There's a dear who went to a dancing competition <laughs> and danced <laughs> herself <laughs> lame before her turn. This boy is still not done. He's lame and his turn has not yet arrived. So he still has like five uh, years until 27. Eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Boys settle at 30. On average in Kenya, in Africa, men are settling at 30. Only a very small, negligible minority is ready at 26. Months. Very few. <laughs> I want to ask, he is not ready. He is still experimenting. He has been, let me tell you what he's doing. He has been using that language on every girl. I'm done now. You're the one. I'm down now. You're the one. 
And a guy tells you you are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Maybe he's telling the truth, but they, they, they are better ones. You, you tell that to the next, the next, the, the, the same girl, next statement, like, like that. Wow, I have so many SMSs. I'm going to ask the team to guide me on, on time here. But um, someone here is saying, hey, Joyce, I got married to a man who was not educated, but is a great worshiper. Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> Not educated, but a great worshiper. Amen. They suffered low, low self-esteem with his folks until he left me with two kids. I did my best for our marriage, including taking him to school. But now I'm alone. <laughs> I still desire to get married. And that's Sally. Okay, I'm not laughing at you, Sally. I'm sorry. But I'm listing the mistakes the way they usually follow each other. Mm. Christian, Christian girls, let me announce something to you. You give too many bonga points to save the brothers. Because he's Christian, you give him 98%. <laughs> You need more than faith. How come you had lost of esteem and you was a worshiper? What was he worshiping? You cannot be a prayerful person. You're depressed. You're anxious. You're having lots of esteem. You're not connected to God. You're just, that's not, that's not worship. That's ministry. That, that's industry. This industry, this industry, this industry. Uh -huh. A person who has a connection with God has a very high self-confidence. Like Joshua and Caleb. Mm -hmm. And I want, I told Christian girls to stop uh, believing in songs. Worship is not singing. Anybody can sing and cry. <laughs> Come on, the devil was a minister of music. <laughs> what she's calling worshiper is the guy who would lead a song and people hey, fall down. He's such a worshiper. <laughs> no, that's not worship. That's not worship. So this guy, you were incompatible when he's not <laughs> learned, when he has lost of esteem. Forget about the, the hallelujah. I'm oh, sure you are saying yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, uh, God, so, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll compose myself. <laughs> But when you hear Christian girls saying worshiper, that's what they're saying. Do you need some water? <laughs> when you hear Christian girls, that's what they come tell you. I married him because anyway, uh, you know, and now here I am on same way too, and he left you. Where is the worshiper now? Hey, you know what, guys? Benjamin is talking truth about this whole 24-year-old story because some of these SMSs, it's really heartbreaking. Take a look at this one. Hey, Joyce, I thought he loved me since he got me pregnant told me to keep the child and has been lying on how he wants to marry me only to find out that he has not one not two not three but four baby mamas four he is 24 and not taking he's a child himself and not taking responsibilities i am moving on i have sanitized him from me <laughs> and my baby's life that's it's tragic. typical. It's typical, Joyce. It's tragic. It's so tragic, and that's how we are sowing. Imagine that child. How? What kind of an environment is that child growing in? Being born by other two children, doing child play. This was why you say, "Go, my, our Ikeshi." The child play cannot last. I want to say, and just sometimes <laughs> on my page, I ban. I say from. To, I'm not talking about pre-24. Any pre-24 come here asking me about investment, about the skills you're doing, about the business you're trying. Don't tell me about boy, boyfriends and babies and diapers. Mm. He's supposed to build in your future. So one of these days, Joyce, we need to dedicate a day to them, another one to dedicate to. <laughs> Clearly. But I think we're helping guys. We're helping guys. It may be hard, a hard pill to swallow, but I, I think it is helpful so to a lot of girl people. girl and her colleagues, don't get a baby before you get the ring. Don't, right. be, don't sell yourself on credit. Don't get married on a debt. <laughs> Please go in. Do, put the right thing first. Respect the process. Yeah. Being made pregnant does not mean you're loved. Mm -hmm. That is all weird. One day you remember what you said here and you'll vomit yourself. <laughs> saying, oh, I thought he married me because he made me pregnant. Being made pregnant is a biological <laughs> process. It's not, it's not emotion. It's just biology. <laughs> okay. Anybody can make you pregnant, even with the eyes closed. <laughs> Any male can make you pregnant. Don't associate making pregnant with... They make you pregnant to tie you. Okay. To exercise their fertility. Some, some men who just want to sow seeds everywhere. Hey, a cuckoo gaga. Hey, hey, hey. Please, don't provide that ground for them. Secure your interest as a woman. When the marriage breaks, you suffer more. Now you're left to the kid. When things, four other baby mamas, don't utter, she has not even mentioned HIV. Yeah. What kind of sexual network is that? <clears throat> Girls before 25, please work on your head. I agree. I agree 100%. Wow. Hey, Joyce. Lois from Taveta. Um, Aki, I'm 26 years old, and I have done almost all the mistakes Benjamin is talking about. Saingine, Benjamin, anaongea mpaka nasikia kuzima TV. For those of you who don't understand, that basically means 
um, sometimes Benjamin speaks, he's, he's basically speaking truth to my life and sometimes he talks until I just want to switch off the TV. But he's really helped me grow and understand myself better. Thank you for Thank watching you. this show. Thank you. Keep on. Keep up. There's, there's an opportunity. You're still Ooh. young. You're still young. Mm -hmm. There's a chance. Yeah. Nyakio from Kirinyaga says, Wololo, Joyce, today's topic with Zulu is on point. The mistakes we make in the name of love are costly, especially when blinded by it and one fails to see the other side of it. Um, I think those dating in our OCG in high school and, co and colleges should, I guess, just slow it down. I just I requested the other day those who organize graduation ceremonies to ask me to come and speak in one of them. I just want to speak in one of them. Okay. <laughs> And tell those kids who are wearing graduation gowns. And here they are with a boyfriend. They're leaving somebody. They are pregnant. They are planning to elope after the graduation. Go start life. Yeah. <laughs> that you are committing the mistakes you regret for the rest of your life. Yeah. After graduation, take three or four years to prepare your career life. To mm. prepare where you're going. To grow yourself. To master your personal life. To control your emotions. To heal your childhood wounds. To, to get a bed seat and pay rent. And yeah. learn how to negotiate. Pay, know how tokens are put. <laughs> no simple things are done. Don't go to a boyfriend. And I want to tell those men who drive their cars from workplace to the university to look for a wife. Shindwe. Amen. Shindwe. <laughs> Women are where you left in the workplace. But these girls have no money. You think you can control them easily. They are That's evolving. Right. They are just like the ones you left. And some of them are not, are not wife materials at all. They are wild things. <laughs> You're going to put her in the house. She'll evolve to a thing you can't recognize. <laughs> She's the one who comes home at 2 a.m., Joyce. There are women who come home drunk at 2 a.m. <laughs> and it's the guy who makes supper, puts children to bed, and opens the door to the wife at 2 a.m. Because he went to the university to pick a girl, thinking she's, no, because I'm the one who's giving her money. I'm the one who's giving her lift. She's mm -hmm. so I can control. Insecurities of men lead them to marry things they don't. It's like committing to egg, an egg. I say, this egg, whatever hatch is, is what I will marry. Oh, kids in the university, you don't know them. They're yet to hatch. There's a part of their consciousness that is yet asleep. It's still developing. Mm -hmm. Even when they're seated, just start practicing, you'll see it. You can tell girls who are, who are 24 and below, even when they're seated, when they're not talking. Wow. They have that element in a child. When you see a child seated, you can see they're blissfully detached from reality. Mm -hmm. There's a part of their, uh, they're not awake to reality. That's how 24 years and below look like. Hey, let me move on to another question. <clears throat> this one's very interesting. Are you ready? <laughs> Good morning, Joyce. I'm married, but I still cheat with my ex. Does it mean that the energy, Elisha, like the energy is done? Let and me tell you what Alice happens. from Zimmerman. It's oh, that's a lady. A guy. That's a lady. Let me tell you what happens. We say it when you expose your mind to love before 25, it gets addicted. It's not no more love connection. Okay. It's like cocaine or alcohol. Even after you recover from this relationship, you'll always be a, a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> you can always fall. This a lady who told me it's 20 years since this college sweetheart, we parted ways. Today when we meet, we still fall. Wow. And we are married, we have our own jobs and we, we don't know. But when we meet, can you imagine they meet and they run to go and fall? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> so, if you had a lover before 25, your brain adjusted structure to accommodate them. Mm. Like a drug. You need, actually, when you try to pull away, you feel, you feel those palpitations, you feel those uh, withdrawal symptoms. Mm. So I want to tell this lady, that's an addiction. It's not a relationship. Even if you left your relationship to go with them, that relationship will not work. You need to cut connections immediately the same way you'd run away from a drug. You need to disappear from their world, block them everywhere. You ruin your marriage. Before I go on break, let me ask one more question. I think we're going to extend our uh, session here just a little bit because there are quite a few questions, uh, if that's okay with you too, uh, uh, Benjamin. But someone here is saying, hey, Joyce and uh, Zulu, I have a guy who never initiates anything. This is, you know, re very related to what we're talking about today, about the things people don't tell you. Um, who never initiates anything. I ask all the questions and suggest the ideas. Recently, I suggested that we purchase a property. I hope you're married, by the way. I hope you're not doing this as your a dating person um <clears throat> i suggested that we purchase a property together because i didn't have enough financial muscle imagine after agreeing and even booking he said he can't do it oh they're dating because she says am i dating myself i feel like i force things thank you you do you should not buy properties when you're dating those things are supposed to be inside the marriage you're risking the fact that he refused he saved you from a foolish decision yeah Take a time. During dating, we are, we are checking our compatibility. Projects are inside marriage, not mm. outside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone here says, um, hey, Joyce, some men pretend to like you because they know that you can't be intimate unless you are sure about them. So they pretend and you feel like they're worth it. But afterwards, they act differently. And I know a lot of women have fallen into this trap, maybe even men, too. Um, 
they've they have their values they have their principles what they're trying to hold fast to but then this guy you know this it's manipulative this is a very narcissistic person because they're really playing on your emotions and even if they, they somehow say that now if you come and say okay you know what actually i think you've been so good to me you deserve this a true gentleman or a true person in that relationship should say but these are your values exactly. and i honor you enough to hold fast to what you said because i am after the future with you i'm not just looking yeah. for sex now actually the the one way that the the, the, the lead must test to so that person is after you is after sex mm -hmm. is to simply say i prefer to do this after marriage yeah just stand on that principle those who are coming only for sex will leave yeah don't bulge if you really love that person you will say actually no the values that you hold dear that's i what, also hold dear exactly and that's what makes you that what makes you worth it to me i can trust you even after i get married i can trust you and i told men to generally not take a woman they are serious with to bedroom before they marry them right because you are teaching her what you can do wow Let's take a break, guys. We'll be back with uh, Benjamin Zulu after this break and taking some more of your questions. Triple one, triple four, at <laughs> triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. Once again, that's triple one, triple four, triple one, and we'll be back after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu and we're just going through the things that no one tells you about love and relationships. And uh, let me just touch on some more feedback here. Someone says, hey Joyce, I'm wisdomated watching from Kirinyaga. <laughs> I don't know if that's your real name or you're saying you've just been like, like given it. a lot of wisdom. That's really cool. Um, you're watching from Kirinyaga and you say, it's always a blessing to be watching. And you say, love is never enough. Actually, even the Bible does not instruct us to marry who we love, but to love who we marry. I love that. And you say, this is because to love is very easy. There's even a provision to love your enemies. You just need to be in one judgment and in one mind. Love yourself for there's no way to be the lover or rather for, <clears throat> excuse me, for there's no way the lover will be able to love the loved more than the loved love the self. Okay. All right. I hope you guys kind of got that last part there. Um, another here says, I'm 25 years old. I've been married for four years now. My husband is 30 and we've grown together, loved each other every day, gone through so much and still strong together. Uh, marriage is God's plan for us all and our spouses are God given. People get married at 30 and still their marriages fail. So I think. Let yeah. me report this. Yeah. We've and we're not saying it's every marriage. Very good. We have said uh, your brain develops like your feet. If we say children we can only walk at two years, for example, let's say like two years. We are saying at two years, the legs are, are strong enough to walk. Mm -hmm. But uh, even at two years, the child must exercise to learn how to walk. So you can still find a child who is four years and has never walked. Maybe they, have, they do not practice, they do not desire it. So we are not saying when you marry past 25, it will be right. I think I don't know where this person is getting this conclusion from. We are mm -hmm. saying your brain has certain capabilities. And we are not saying you can't, we are saying you can get it pre-25, but it's a hit and miss. Yeah. It's like crossing River Tana on a rope. I am the one doing the body count, Jace. Mm -hmm. I do not allow somebody who's dealing with one marriage, theirs only, mm -hmm. to come here and mislead people. Me, I did it 19, and we are okay. Then I also ask them, what could have become, had you taken yeah. those years to develop your career? Where could you have gone? It's, so it's, you're it's, more of an outlier, not the norm. Thank you. And is yeah. marriage all you wanted in life? Mm. Was that your goal in life? Mm. If you want more out of life, you want also to set foundation for your career, for mm -hmm. your calling. Mm. Exactly. So for me, I'm saying, we're not saying you cannot do it right, but you're saying you're, it's a hit and miss, it's risky, and it's better to do it when you can see your life clearly. Wow. Hey Joyce, Diana from Kisumu. I just love the show. I got married at 27, and I just noticed that after two years, we lost interest in each other because we had no, nothing serious to talk about until we just started a business project. All is well now. Mm. At least we have something to talk about. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, someone exactly. else says, hey Joyce, <laughs> I have dated this man for five months now, but I'm getting tired with him. Because he's not, hey, okay. Because he's not ready to be corrected, and he bores me. With is that when you initi 
when you initiate a serious, I guess, topic about the two of you, he's never ready to. And worst of all is this man has never given me his plans, visions, etc. Neither has he ever told the truth. And they write in caps, advise me, please. You Benjamin. don't need advice. <laughs> You're just in denial. This was dating. It's an interview. He has failed the test. So what advice do you want? Yeah. You're the one who's too attached. This was, and please, okay, you have five months, I forgive, but still you're donating too much of your emotions because now you're already connected to him. That's why you're bargaining about it. If you are assessing him from outside, we said always date from outside. Don't fall in love before you learn him. Learn him before you fall in love. Please, that order is very important. Wow. When a man begins to pursue you, there are some women who start running. This guy has been pursuing me for five years and you have not stopped to check who is pursuing you. Maybe it's a tuk-tuk that is running after you. Just to, 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 a guy is pursuing me. He has been pursuing me for five years now. I ring here and now you feel desired. Is that took to running after you? Stop to see who is running after you. <laughs> Just because a fellow is pursuing doesn't mean it's anything. So if he looks for you, look, pause, meet for, give, do the phone call. Check who you are you're dealing with. Maybe it's a beetle. Just rolling and down. Just rolling down, running after you, running after you. No. Ujambia wa tuwa tuk tuk vizuri, but it's okay. <laughs> you know, tuk tuk okay. don't don't have a radio, but the engine is a radio. You can dance by force when you're inside. Dum, 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 dum. So some people when they carry you like you must dance that tune. Dum, 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 dum. And you know some tuk don't have a starter. You have to use a rope. Some guy, some people just have to use. Look at this. All those problems. Why are you with him? What is one reason that you are with yeah. him? Because you're emotionally attached already. And Bait. there's something you said. Sorry, there's something you said there that. Sometimes it's like we already know. We already know this thing has come to an end. We already know it's not working out. But we try bargaining with ourselves or like negotiating with ourselves to try and find an answer, to try and find a solution. It's hard to let go of a relationship, especially when you've invested so much into it. I mean, I don't that's, to ask, five exactly. months, that's almost half the year of her life. I mean, I don't, no, I don't have to time. ask her, do, when a person tells you, give me a chance, don't enter a relationship with them. That's the foolish mistake, but it's so common. Wait, what? When they say, give me a chance? Yes, and you say, okay, I'll give him a chance. Don't start a relationship. Because Meet of him. him saying, give me a chance? Yes. The guy is asking for a relationship to tie you quickly. But you, be wise. Say, let me hear what you have to offer. Let me assess it. Ah. From outside, interfere like a candidate. So what's your plan for? So what, what would you want with me? Okay, all right. So, okay. So how... Study, check before you get okay. emotionally involved. You know what I want to do? I want to one day just have. I, it's I want a table and two chairs. Exactly. And you pretend how to do a first date uh -huh. and what questions to ask because. Can now I order for the roses now? <laughs> now we're going to ask questions like, at the, what are you going to offer? In when a guy is want you, you see, Joyce, with a person want to marry, they, they want to take over every department of. They will influence every part of your life. So you want to check what kind of influence are you admitting? So when a person says, I am, they keep saying, I gave him a chance. What chance? Mm. It's an interview. Companies don't deploy you for a short while to check your employee. Though they assess you in a boardroom to check whether you are good for what you're looking for. And you're right. I mean, this is not something that we're trying to just take chances on. Yes. Like, this is a life your heart, partner. Exactly. So it's not for... And you know, what? those who date using small relationships experience emotional fatigue very soon. Mm. You attach here, you detach. Attach, you detach. Ah, relationships don't work. I'm tired. We need to, oh my God, anyway. That's, that's a, a topic for another day. Because I always say that all the time. Don't, don't be quick to just date anybody. No. Right? Like, don't call it date. Go on coffees and whatnot, but don't attach yourself to a relationship with so many different people. Just because, I feel like even if the one is, is in a corner eyeing you, and he's always seeing you, Mara, you are with Siji Maura, now you're no. with Kinyanjui, now you're with Omondi, now no. you're with who? I mean... Mwanzia, Muzioka, Jogosh, you don't need that. <laughs> Check, don't date. Please don't start. A, you know, the dating and date is very confusing. Yeah. You can go on a date when you're not dating. But people also say they are dating when they're in a relationship. Yes. So that language can be confusing. Right. I simply say, meet up the person or converse with them to see whether they, 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 they meet. This lady I wanted to ask her, did you have minimum threshold for the guy you're going to date so that you measured him against it? No, you didn't. You said, let him come and work with what he has. Now this is what he has. And now you're here complaining. Yeah. Don't work with what a person has. Joyce, I, want, I knew what I wanted for my woman. And I kept checking whether the ones I was meeting were good for it. Mm. And I did, not, I did not settle. I, I did not date anyone. I did not get a relationship until I found the one. I was protecting my heart. Ladies, protect your heart. Where? Protect okay. your heart. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not worthy. They keep coming and going. You have to get tired of it. Wow. Okay.
Um, hey Joyce, I'm Regina. I have a guy who cheated on me that is not married, but later we fell in love and he decided to break the news that he is married. Akianani. You walked in. We the continued the relationship. <laughs> Pre 25. That's a 24 and below. But I'm not even finished the story. But he impregnated me. I know. And Akaruka Akasema bald si yake. Of course. Now I'm pregnant, four months only. It goes like that. Four months lonely. Guess how old she is. I know, pre-25. She's 25 on the money. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know. I know that narrative. I can read it like wow. here. Wow. I know the narrative. Nobody this thing is not a joke. No. Just nobody. I know we laugh about this a lot <laughs> because I think maybe, of, of course, we are older than that. And like we're looking back at experiences and it's like, Father, thank our you for, for our saving me. Our personal brain has developed. Yes. This girl. But all, these are very sad stories. Everything that happened was foreseeable. But our brain could not foresee because it could not detach from the situation. I told you what, 23, 24, when, once they fall in love, that love becomes like a religion, like an obsession. Like they're, they're carried by a wave. But you're already in love. So I said, let it just continue. Although he's married. So where are you going with it? So why did you get pregnant? So what's the ideal age to start dating, Benjamin? 25 and above. Okay. 25 and above. And I told you 24 years. Not to get married, to start dating. When I, I told you this morning, one told me, I'm 25, I'm married. And I hear that. If they invite me for a wedding where the bride is 25, <laughs> why are you lulating? I say silent prayers. <laughs> because I know this was a, a blind jump into the dark. I yes. tried to do God help. God, God, God. God. <laughs> Because I know they dated at 23, started on 4, and she's just blissful thinking it's all about Alejandro. It's about uh, uh, she's imagining uh, Prince Charming in a horse. <laughs> so for me, I want to ask these kids, once you reach, to, once your brain oh, stabilizes, be, you'll be able to, oh, everything that happened to Joyce there was not rocket science. It's very foreseeable. But never ask pre-25s, what were you thinking? They were not thinking. They were feeling. Mm. The feeling, the amygdala is a feeling department. And that's what you are using when you're pre-25. Remember that. Benjamin, I have to let you go today. But thank you so much for coming on to the show. I think this has been such a good discussion. Clearly, there's so many things that we get wrong when it comes to relationships. I hope you guys have been paying attention. And uh, I think the first thing, it begins with really knowing yourself and having value in yourself. Because some of these things, you just should not be allowing into your life. How can people find you? Benjamin Zulu KE everywhere. Benjamin Zulu KE on Facebook, our page, and Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. The same, Benjamin Zulu KE, Twitter and Instagram. All right, fantastic. Asante sana. Can we'll see you soon. And uh, with that said, guys, thank you so much for your company. I need to call it a day, but let's meet here tomorrow for even more Full Circle with Joyce. Until then, God bless you and have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. Ciao.